one. Bishop fans, we are joined by Kyron Kelly and DJ Cox after a buzzer beater victory over Newport News of Prince, Westland beats the Builders 72 71. We're going to start off with DJ, had a game winner on a drive buzzer beater. What was going through your mind on the drive, and how's Phil hit the game winner uh, for your team? Honestly, what was going through my mind once we got a ball in bounds, um, I got a ball back from my teammate Jalen, and I let it coach, and he just said attack. And after that, I just zoned out. But the feeling afterwards, um, just making sure that we got back on defense because it was about two or three seconds left. So once he missed that and we heard the buzzer, it, it, it was just a great feeling. But I couldn't do it without my guys, though. Now, Kai, when we interviewed you yesterday, we got on you. You were one rebound short. You got a double double today. 12 points, 10 boards. So you must have listened to us in the interview last night. What was going through your head out there? You guys were down most of the game. You scrapped away, scrapped away. I think it was a good indication on that last drive of how the whole game was. Right, right to the end. What do you think of the game overall, your your performance out there? Well, um, you know, the other team, the friends, like, it was very scrappy and everything. And the main thing, like I was saying yesterday, was just about uh, being tough. And my mind was just, like, you know, getting every rebound and just being relentless, something that I always do because, you know, those, uh, those guys obviously knew what I was capable of. And that's why I kind of got chippy a little bit in the first half and going into halftime. But all of us, we all knew that this was just a test for us just to be poised and stuff. So, like, really odd. Just thanking my teammates for it, and like you know, the double double. We all play together and wouldn't happen without them, so you know, yeah. Now, DJ, I don't know if you knew this, this is 35th annual Roger Taylor Classic. You guys were undefeated in this, two big wins. What's the tournament mean to you, mean to the team? How do you think this helps you going forward to the rest of the year? Honestly, from, from my standpoint, I really think that it shows that even getting off to a shaky first start of the season. This was definitely a way for us to show how, even though you can face many adversities, it's all about heart, effort, and just the bond and brotherhood that we built. So I think it truly means a lot that we went undefeated on 35th. We got one question we got to ask you both this. You head up to New York now. I don't know, Victor, you ever been to the Big Apple? What are you looking forward to most? Kyle, we'll start with you about New York. Well, usually when we go up there, you know, obviously, like, you know, we sightseeing and stuff, but Coach T has us talking to, like, different coaches about, like, you know, just about the game and giving us advice. But the main thing I look forward to, like, you know, on the court is obviously, like, you know, going up there and getting better and just becoming and stuff so we can go ahead and be set for the conference. Like, all these games is obviously a test, and it's going to help us build. Like, we use the term brick by brick. So that's just something that I'm looking forward to is just getting better and off the court, like, you know, practicing at the facilities and, you know, just getting more knowledge about the game and then just applying it to, like, us and our mm -hmm. team and everything like that. Same for you. Honestly, what I'm looking forward to the most, I'd say definitely just, like, the experience of going with the guys, but mostly taking on the task at hand, which is once you get on the court, the business. It's always uh, been, been a business trip since I've been here last year with Charlie Philly. So, of course, it's going to be another business trip, but just take it all in and live in the moment. Mm -hmm. Bishop fans, we appreciate Mr. Double Double, Mr. Kyron Kelly, Mr. Buzzer Bigger, DJ Cox with us. Your bishops win by a point at the buzzer. Come back here Saturday, December 16th. They're going to take on Midland Christian again at 2 o'clock. Until then, cheers on to New York. Good business. Yes,